So my beauties, welcome back. So today I decided to do a beach wave slash wand curl like hair tutorial. Um, I've done it a couple times um, and I always seem to get compliments on it and I ask how my hair is so big and voluminous and if I think I said that right. Um, so I just decided to do a hair video. I haven't done one before, so I figured why not this be my first one. Um, so if you want to see how I got these waves and what products I use, then keep on watching my video. Thank you. So before I start going over um, how to wand slash curl my hair, I'm going to go over a few products that I use to wash my hair with. So because my hair was damaged for those of you that know me last year i went blonde so of course bleaching it damages um and i was getting a lot of breakage so um the what was recommended to me was pureology and this is a shampoo um i did finish the conditioner the conditioner was the purple one and then this one is just strength cure it is a little bit pricey they do have mean <laughs> it is a little bit pricey they do have miniature ones um but it's worth the money it's lasted me a little bit goes a long way so yeah this one really helped repair my hair so much and in between two to three times out of the week i use this one from redken this one is dandruff rel relief um because i do get dandruff here and there i mean who doesn't so this has helped me also with dandruff to condition because I have so much hair and it gets frizzy I've been using the bed head and control freak and it just comes with the pump and everything um I don't think all of them come with bumps but you can buy them separately so this I just squirt a lot to my hand and I lather my hair with it and then after a couple minutes I just slowly massage it out so that's helped me a little bit with um frizz i'm sorry i can't think okay and then lastly i have my paul mitchell um serum which also helps with frizz i think that's all it does yeah it just moves and conditions and it helps with frizz so what i'm gonna do first is i'm just gonna pump a little bit into my hand and you want to start at the bottom first and then work your way up you can go in the inner you don't want to start from the top because it's gonna look oily and you don't want that oily look you want it to mainly go towards the bottom first the way I get this poofiness it might be because I have thick hair but I after I shower I just let it air dry and then if it's still not dry dry I blow dry it and the blow dryer that and the blow dryer that I use is this one from Remington. It's just a simple blow dryer and then it has all the little gadgets right here. I blow dry it on the inner and then I lift my hair and I, I feel like that's what gives me the poofiness. Okay, so I'm going to start curling my hair. And this is just the Hot Tools curling iron. I wanted to get the wand, but I was told that I can use a curling iron as a wand. Um, you just wrap your hair around it, which is a good idea because if you're ever lazy, you can just like clamp it, clamp it. Yeah. So I'm going to start on the outside first. And then see how I'm just wrapping it around and you leave like a good amount out you just wait a couple minutes not minutes you don't want to bring your hair off you want to wait a couple seconds and then let it go gently and see how it makes this curl once you brush out the curls they're gonna loosen up a little bit more like beach waves so right now they're real curly they're like quinceanera curly when blow drying my hair, I don't care to comb through it if I know I'm going to be curling it or putting it up. Um, 
because if you comb through it'll kind of calm down the hair and you don't want it to be calm you want it to be wild because the curling iron is going to come in anyways into play and fix everything up and then for the inside i just tilt my head and i get some pieces here as well I think this would um is easier for the back hair just so you don't have to have your arm all the way back here i'm gonna do a tutorial on my eyeshadow next just because it's very mermaid like and i'm very into mermaids because i know they're real somewhere somehow once i'm done curling all my hair I don't hairspray it I just leave it as is if it's still a little bit frizzy then I just put a little bit more Paul Mitchell serum in my hair and just run my fingers through it but no hairspray okay and that is it guys so after you're done shampooing conditioning blow drying treating your hair um and of course curling it wanding it this is what you get you get nice big beach wave messy hair wannabe curls um so yeah like i said i'll keep you guys updated on when i do my mermaid eyeshadow look but for today it was all about the hair and i hope you guys recreate it use some of the products that i mentioned it is very good for the hair and i will see you guys in my next video